Since we have the Zenith Z5 RS in full auto configuration, I'll take this chance to do a short video on recoil management. First, uh, I will show how to uh, do a proper recoil control with semi-auto, short bursts and then full auto. So for any kind of good recoil control, you always have to start with basics. That means good solid stance. Okay. So for me, I'm a right-handed shooter, so I'll put my main head uh, main uh, leg a bit, a bit to the back and I will uh, bend my knees so my center of gravity goes down a bit okay. now when I shoot I lean forward and the majority of my uh, weight is on my toes now um, the rifle or the subgun should have a good position in the shoulder and my secondary hand actually helps it push into the shoulder. That way you mitigate the recoil. Otherwise, if it's a bit away from the shoulder, it bumps you every time. If it's pressed to the shoulder tightly, it transfers the recoil through your shoulder, through your body, to the ground. For the semi-auto shots, uh, you have to have proper grip, elbow up, and then you have to have passive recoil management. With passive, I mean that you have to have tension in the muscles and when you do the shot, you absorb the recoil and the gun naturally comes back to the target for the second shot. That is different with full auto fire. Well, the full auto is a bit different. The rate of fire is so much faster that with a passive uh, recoil management your gun would just keep rising, 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 rising it would be off the target really soon. So what do you have to do? You have to actively control and counter the recoil. That is uh, easier said than done and usually it involves training. Uh, I would suggest to do first a couple of bursts to get the feeling of the recoil um, to know how much it brings the gun up and also to figure the rate of fire. Uh, one important thing that I do uh, when I figure the rate of fire, I try to bring it into balance with my recoil control. And with that kind of um, proper technique, you can actually put all the rounds on the target. Your stance and grip with a full auto fire are very similar to the semi auto, but I suggest you put your main leg more to the back go a bit lower and lean to the gun more. Those are the only differences. Now first I'll fire a couple of bursts to get the feeling of it and then I'll do a full mag dump. 